So, Tropical Storm Helene uh, made landfall in Florida overnight, and now it is producing the first ever flash flood emergency in the Atlanta uh, metro area, making it the wettest three day period in more than 100 years, getting almost 12 inches of rain the span of just a couple of days, and that life threatening flood threat, it continues today. Take a look at all the green colors here the flood watch extending in the Tennessee Valley, in the dark red flash flood warnings ongoing for Atlanta. Many other spots in the Western Carolinas and in the lime green, that's all, we're also seeing some flood warnings for many of these local rivers that are swollen and overflowing. So we do have a Fox reporter, Liviana Calmiz, reporting live in some of the areas impacted. Tell us what you're seeing so far today. I mean, people are really waking up and realizing just how devastating this is. We know there's 21 deaths across the southeast, 11 of those here in Georgia. So, so far inland, but people are still feeling the facts. In fact, some of them saying that they've never seen anything like this in this area. Um, I want to show you one of the homes that was impacted uh, last night into the early, early hours. So these people who lived here were hunkering down. They were staying inside when all dark, of course, because of the power outages when and a tree fell on their home. They said they didn't even realize what had happened um, until the morning hours. They heard the crack. They didn't know what it was. Uh, that could have been really devastating if they had been in that room. They were just a couple rooms over there. And again, this happening deep into the night hours. They said this tree fell at about 2 a.m. here in Valdosta, Georgia, uh, saying that that's just so scary and so intense when it's happening during the night. It was just scary. I couldn't go to sleep. I couldn't relax. I was just kind of like sitting up and just because there was so much noise and stuff hitting the house and it was just terrible and you couldn't see anything. So, you know, you didn't know what was coming at you. And we saw winds of, I saw reports of up to 88 miles per hour here uh, that knocked out a lot of power, even for us in our hotel and into the morning, still out. And there's still a lot of people across the state, of course, in other areas in the southeast without power today. So that is a main concern here. The EMA here telling people to try and stay off the roads, but cleanup is the next part and realizing just kind of what's ahead here. I'll send it back to you. Thank you so much. And I, I want to know about the people that you talked to. Just what was their affect being impacted by such a really devastating storm? A lot of the people I talked to said that this was worse than Idalia for them. They didn't expect it to be this bad. And there was trees and road signs and business signs into the road. So very impassable in a lot of areas. And that rain last night was just pelting buildings. It was a very scary situation. That's basically what everyone here has been saying, especially the, the owner of this home saying that he was worried about his kids. They were in here and just really freaked out by the storm. But uh, they Thank goodness, you know, they were safe in this situation because it can be very dangerous. Yeah, that's right. Oliviana Calmiz, thank you so much for your reporting in Georgia. Wonderful work. Stay safe, and we really appreciate you. Uh, again, some of the highlighted areas where we're really going to be watching for additional life-threatening flooding throughout the day today. And we're expecting Helene to be moving off to the northwest this weekend. So next up, spots in Kentucky and Tennessee experiencing some very heavy rain. We will continue to bring you some of those reports throughout the day today and later on tonight of uh, Helene's aftermath and all of the, uh, the recovery efforts ongoing there. I'll send it back to you.